a fun game to improve your dog's recall. To play this game, you're going to need a clicker or you can use a verbal yes word instead. Now this is to mark the dog's correct response. To communicate with your dog that he or she is doing the right thing. Each click or yes is going to be followed by a delicious treat. So you're going to need lots of treats. This needs to be something that your dog will absolutely love. It shouldn't be plain dog food. Something amazing. In the upcoming videos, I'm actually using hot dog that's got melted cheese running through it. You might like to use pieces of sausage or meatballs or chicken or mozzarella balls. Something that smells delicious, is easy to throw and that will bounce along the floor for your dog to see and chase after because that's the idea. Yay, chase the treat. This is so much fun. And the treats, if possible, should be novel. So something that your dog doesn't get all of the time. How to play the first game. First of all, you need to find a quiet place with no distractions. You're going to sit or stand in front of your dog and feed one of the delicious treats. Then toss out a treat for the dog to run and get, to chase down and eat. Click as your dog comes back to you or say yes. Now, although I click when Jambo arrives back in the front position, this is because he's used to the game and I know he's going to cut. You will want to initially click or say yes, literally as your dog turns towards you. Now, as the clicker or your verbal yes word means that your dog has done the right thing and that a reward is now available, he or she should come all the way back to you, at which point you feed another delicious treat. Then, toss out another treat. You're going to repeat this five times. If your dog's doing well, you can start to delay the click slightly. So don't click or say yes as soon as your dog turns. Wait until he or she is already running back to you. The goal is that you're finally clicking just as I am as your dog arrives back in the front position, i.e right in front of you. And this is super important, please do not use your recall cue. Neither your dog's name nor the word that means for your dog to come at this time. If you notice, I'm not actually saying anything. Okay, let's watch Jambo play the game so that you can learn how to play it with your dog. Let's watch our first video, game one. Now, this is a game and it should be lots of fun for your dog, but you also want your dog to be successful. So train, test, train. Play the game in sets of five. Five out of five correct? Well, move to the next game. You're doing great. You're ready to introduce the recall cue. 
three or four out of five correct, you're doing quite well, but I think you need to play the game again. Your dog needs just a bit more practice. Only one or two out of five? Okay, we need to make the game easier. So how can you make it easier? Well, some suggestions might be moving to a quieter area. Perhaps there are some distractions where you are now. Or maybe you need to play the game at a different time of day. You want your dog to be feeling playful, not ready to go to bed. Another suggestion, try not tossing the tree quite so far. Make it easier for your dog. And finally, what else could you do? Well, you could increase the value of the treat. If your dog's not chasing down that treat, could it be that they're not really interested in the treat? In game two, we introduce our recall cue. So, how do we play the game? Well, you toss out a treat for your dog to chase after and eat. You say your recall cue, come, as your dog comes back to you. You click as your dog arrives back in the front position, or of course you can say yes, and you feed a delicious treat. You then toss out another treat for your dog to chase after and eat. You repeat this five times. We're now going to watch our second game in which you'll see that I introduced the recall cue, come. The first thing that I want to say is make sure that you keep this recall cue sounding really playful and fun. It shouldn't sound like a threat, do or else. I've got to admit, if you called me to come and you sounded sort of quite fierce, I might be a little bit reticent to come to you. Whereas if you sound really happy and jolly and like this is going to be lots of fun, I'm much more likely to actually come back to you. So keep your tone nice and soft and playful. I also want you to notice that on the first repetition, I don't say come until Jambo is actually nearly back with me. Why is that? Well, you want to make sure that your dog's successful. You want to make sure that you're 100% certain they are going to come before you say come. So please do the same. As your dog is successful, you can gradually say the cue earlier. Okay, so presuming your dog is successfully coming back to you, on each repetition, you can say the cue a little bit earlier until on that last repetition, you're perhaps saying the cue as soon as your dog finishes eating the delicious treats that you tossed out and turns towards you. Okay, so let's watch the game. I hope you really enjoyed watching those games and that you're going to have lots of fun with your dog. I'd like to end with one last tip. Notice how many treats I fed on the final repetition. A lot. You want your dog to really remember this game. You also want to celebrate your dog's accomplishment. 
you should be left thinking like, wow, my dog is the best. My dog is simply amazing. And your dog should be left thinking, wow, my human is the best. My human is simply amazing. Your dog should feel like it was his or her birthday. You really do want it to be a memorable event. That was so much fun. Come in when called absolutely pays off. 